Hey guys, so for today's video, I am going to be taking apart this, um, what is this thing called again? Uh, I want to say bandana, but it's not a bandana. Uh, um, one of those scarves that guys tie on their head when they want to get waves. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I can't think of the name right now, and I'm waiting for my car to unthaw so I can get to work. Uh... <laughs> I, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, I found this when I found the other scarf wrap at, uh, the Salvation Army near my house, which, surprisingly, not too long after I found this, this TikToker that I follow that crochets actually started making these. Like, she makes hers, and she'll do, like, two sections that she sells together as a rectangle, and then she puts, like, fur on the outside that she does, like, the string part that ties around it they, they look really nice but this one it was nice too it just i don't think it was done the same way she did hers because like you, you can see the confusion on my face right here like i pulled one string off the end because they went and took the yarn and went all the way around the edge of it in one big loop and then i guess somehow they used that to hide a uh, knot and chain that they use to connect the pieces together right there instead of like I guess instead of just having the knot and then leaving the end in or continuing to crochet around the edge of it with that piece in it no they decided to crochet over top of it and it got stuck so it took me a minute to get the knot out there and then once it did you see it kind of comes out it kind of unravels i think that thing was like that for a while honestly because it just it was stuck it, it really it wanted to stay where it was it, it wasn't budging at all and it like it ends right there too and then there's another tail at the top there's there's like three different ends to this thing they're all connected together because somehow they went on along one side went up to connect the two pieces tied the knot there weave that in then use the other one to tie another knot in the other section at the bottom and then went around all of it so they're all literally connected together you have to pull that middle seam off just to get to the rest of it like they they made a rectangle and then added two rectangles to it and sewed it into a hood and just crocheted over top of the ends which if you're not planning on taking apart or falling apart does make sense to do but it just makes it difficult to take apart which even then this thing was actually pretty easy to take apart after that since it was all one piece like as far as I can remember from this video it that's all one thing they they, they just they went non-stop they literally stopped halfway through the middle after making the sides and then just went back and forth for the mini rectangle it's not like three different pieces it's one whole thing and they sewed it shut in the middle so yeah and even though like there there is a ball right there because they had uh they like added to so it was like one rectangle and then they connected the other one but in some spot in one spot it was tied together by a knot but then in another it wasn't it was just there as soon as i pulled it out it just oop, just popped right out not even <laughs> i don't know how they got it like that honestly and even this part right here kind of threw me for a loop too because like they quite literally so well they crochet over top of the um the first knot from when they did the chain stitch so that second row is stuck on the first row like they they weaved in the end of it as they were crocheting the second row which is it's a pretty smart thing to do i've never thought to do that but you know if you don't want to weave in ends just crochet over top of them why not seems like a pretty good idea and it, it clearly worked for them so it, it must work pretty well i mean the, i washed the thing none of the knots came out it, it didn't get frizzy i don't even know I, i'm assuming this is acrylic yarn but 
it didn't get frizzy after it came off the dryer none of the knots came out what what, what is this how 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 do I get to that level of skill because <laughs> even some of the baby blankets I bought at Goodwill I washed them once put them in the dryer they're frizzing it, it looks like it's the exact same type of yarn as this in a different color but like what it can't be the same if it didn't act the same you know but it looks like it is but either way this is pretty easy to take out it took maybe i don't know 10 20 minutes for the whole thing once it got through the knots and honestly they didn't use a lot of yarn it's like it looks like it was bigger than it was but no that is that's the entire ball of yarn right there that's it that's that's the whole thing I mean, uh, it's good. It works, you know. Not every project has to take a bunch of yarn. So I think this is pretty good.